the ability, because of immigration, to be an emerging country again, to be full of optimism, to believe that our future is brighter than our present. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush speaking at the Christian Hispanic Leadership Conference. His view on immigration blurs the line between legal and illegal and reiterates that more immigrants mean a younger and better future for our country. A new report out by Numbers USA offers a report card on the 2016 hopefuls and their respective grades on immigration. As you can see, Governor Bush received a D plus, not quite as bad as Senator Lindsey Graham's F, but leading the pack right now, newly announced candidate Rick Santorum with an A. For more on the specifics of that report, let's welcome in Roy Beck, the executive director of Numbers USA. He joins us via Skype from Arlington, Virginia. Roy, what was the criteria used to evaluate these candidates? We looked at 10 different categories on immigration. So this, this is very uh, complex. For instance, where, where do they stand on taking away the jobs magnet? by mandating E-Verify? Where do they stand on a visa lottery where we just raffle off uh, job uh, work permits? Where do they stand on chain migration? Where do they stand on, on helping local governments help the federal government enforce immigration laws? Amnesty, on down the line. There's 10 criteria there, 10 categories. We rate them and each one of them based on past actions, past comments and statements, but especially on what are they saying officially now? What's on their website? What are they saying in official announcements? What are they being quoted saying in the news media? Now, this is different than a grade card on your past record. We really want to help voters know what is the likely position of these candidates if they were elected president. And we believe it does make a lot of difference what they promise in public, how often they promise it, and uh, and how publicly they do so. Uh, so all of those things are taken into consideration. We, uh, uh, as you can imagine, uh, you, you had some colleagues in Congress who did, weren't always consistent, and there's lots of inconsistency among uh, members of Congress. They may be great in one part of immigration, terrible in another, mixed in others. We weigh all those together. Every week until the 2016 election is over, we will be reevaluating uh, adding new information, recalculating the grades. This is what we've done in the last three presidential election cycles. And Roy, as, as we check right now, you, giving evidence of the dynamic nature of your scoring and uh, the letter grades, I guess would be that B for Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. Looks like he has reassessed his position vis-a-vis -vis amnesty and open borders. Very much so. We, we give him a B minus. Uh, and and he, partly... He would be higher, except there's five of the ten categories that he's made no statements, no actions at all. So we don't really know where he is on those things. Where he has spoken up, it's been very good. And, you know, probably the most important thing is what he has to say about giving lifetime work permits to millions of illegal aliens. He once made, well, once, for many years, several years, he made statements that suggested that he thought that that ought to happen. And then this winter, uh, he changed his position. Now, he didn't just change his position. He said, I've changed my position. We, we regard that as being more significant. For, when a politician doesn't try to slip one up on you and, and claim that this is where they've been all along, he, he acknowledges that he has been in a different place. He has changed his position. Well, we I know, know what it's like, too, because post 9-11, the scales fell from my eyes, and I understood the importance of borders and national sovereignty and putting a stop to amnesty. Now, got to take a look at the Democratic side, and man, oh, man, those grades are, are pretty bad. Let's, let's take a look. Hillary with an F. Uh, Martin O'Malley, a D minus. Jim Webb, a D plus. Bernie Sanders, an F minus. Roy, how on earth... Does Senator Sanders get an F minus? Well, this is the very sad part about it is that we what we are looking at more than anything is how do the positions on immigration change the number of foreign workers competing with American workers for wages and for jobs? Now, you would think from the rhetoric that Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren would be the best 
in terms of protecting workers and their wages. But in fact, both of them get F minuses. And we find this with both Republicans and Democrats. I do believe that most of them are not fully educated on this. I think they, there's a cognitive disconnect. The Democrats are so committed into bringing in people with big government political philosophies through immigration, which the polls show the vast majority of immigrants arrive with big government political philosophies. So they, they believe they're importing Democratic workers. And of course, so you would be happy in Numbers USA to educate uh, uh, candidates of both parties as to uh, perhaps the best course of action to take. Roy Beck of Numbers USA, we thank you for the report cards. We'll check back with you in the days to come. And Newsmax Prime will continue right after this.